Hello, today we're going to make this beautiful Christmassy bauble like pendant and I have lots of techniques to teach you. First we're going to make a cage around the bead to teach you how to make a spiral cage for any bead, especially any stone without a hole in it. And then a sliding knot adjustable cord to hold the pendant. So learning lots of skills today. We begin the cage by cutting 30 centimeters of one millimeter silver aluminum wire and begin to curl one end nice and tightly and keeping it flat. You're going to keep winding until you're almost at the middle of that piece of wire, keeping that spiral flat and neat. Then you're going to start winding the other end in the opposite direction and also up an, into a really nice, flat, tight spiral and meeting equally in the middle so that the spirals are the same size. You can use a stronger wire here. I have just used the soft aluminium to make it easy to show you, but usually I would use something stronger. I love the look of this little cage setting. It always makes the stone look good. Now you're going to fit your stone into those spirals. So place your stone onto one of the spirals, bring the other end up onto the top of the bead and then start to fit it around the bead. So a spiral on each end of the bead and pulling down with your nails or with pliers Bring the longer spirals down and upwards to hold the bead in place. You can see what I have done here. And in the end, there's this pretty spiral going from one end of the bead to the other. This bead has a hole through it, and I am putting a one millimeter copper wire through the middle, nine centimeters long, and I'm going to decorate this. I have added small cherry quartz and a larger cherry quartz uh, bead so that they're in various sizes plus the very pretty little metallic beads that I do love and it all adds texture and interest to this pendant. You can add anything together, it all depends on what you have and the colours and the stones that you love. I close off the end with a neat little tiny curl and then the top side, the, the top tail, I am going to hammer flat on my anvil. I like to change the look of the wire and this gives it a nice um, t a texture and it adds shine. Where it's flat you're going to have little lights reflecting from the wire and it makes the pendant look more interesting. Once it is hammered flat, I take my sweet little pin vise out and opening up the end chuck, I put in the end of the wire, the flattened part, tighten it up, and I'm holding the end part of the wire to show that the, only that one section must be twisted. So I'm holding the pliers tightly on the end of that wire close to the beads and then I begin to twist with the pin vise. I love the way the, the look of the wire can be changed so quickly just by changing it and a little bit of a detail makes all the difference. Undo your pin vise and now we're going to start making the veil and that is very easy. All we do is take a pair of pliers and bend that twist over and the little flattened end I bring around to the front. Taking the very point of the needle nose pliers, I curl up that little flat end into a sweet little front curl. Looks almost like the center of a rose. I just love cherry quartz. As you can see, I have a soft spot for it. Now I'm going to show you how to do the cord with a sliding adjustable knot. 
I have made one of the knots already and I'm going to show you how easy it is. The main cord is in your left hand or right hand. The other hand holds a tail. Take the end of tail to the back of the cord and under to the front. Now take it back up and over backwards and in through the gap towards you. Pull gently and to tighten up that knot. And there you have it, it's a slip knot. Both of these knots are the same and they're adjustable. So it can be opened up or closed. Let's practice once again because I can tell you it took me a little while to get the hang of this knot. So cord to the back of the one you're holding, up towards you, up over the top, behind the top loop, and through the gap towards you and pull that tail through. That's it. I think this would make a beautiful gift for somebody who you'd love to give something special to. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Take care from South Africa. Bye-bye.